Well, sometimes. Go to sleep. Please. Psalm 10. Psalm 9 and 10 may originally have been a single acoustic poem in which alternating lines began with the successive letters of the Hebrew alphabet. In the Septuagint, they are considered one psalm. Also, yes, this stuff is all poem and poetic. <laughs> Make it some prophecy. Other things, but not stuff about the shape of the earth. Sorry, flat earthers. <laughs> there is no evidence in the Book of Psalms for proving a flat earth, considering it's all poetic. Literally, it's all poetic. So things seem a little weird in some cases. It's literally a song. <coughs> or a poem. So, yeah. Anyway. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak Who are caught in the schemes he devises, he boasts about the cravings of his heart, he blesses the greedy, and reviles the Lord. In his pride the wicked man does not seek him, in all his thoughts there is no room for God, his ways are always Prosumptuous, your laws are rejected by. Wait, there's a note. See, so to it, Hebrew slash. They are haughty, and your laws are far from <coughs> him. He sneers. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, "Nothing will ever shake me." He ans He swears, "No one will ever." do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies and wait under the villages, no, near the villages. From ambush he murders the innocents. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion he in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. <laughs> his victims are crushed. They collapsed. Collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, he says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord. Lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. <coughs> Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account, but you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted, and no, you consider their grief and take in it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evildoer. To account for his wickedness <clears throat> that would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king for ever and ever. 
the nations will perish from the land. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry. Break the arm, evil doer to account for his wickedness that would not otherwise have been found out anyway. Defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. 